I'm sitting here at my favorite restaurant at the Zurich Gold Coast. And gold, again, is the topic of today. Remember, this is our gold season. We are looking for gold companies because we believe they are a good hedge in a recession that may come in the future. So I searched the Obermott rank database again for gold companies. And what I find is unfortunately quite depressing. Most of the large companies, as you can see here, have value ranks below 50. As a matter of fact, all of the gold companies have value ranks below 50, which means the good times for buying gold stock are already over. Now, maybe silver is an option where I still can find fairly cheap companies with good ranks. But as I can see here, when I search for the silver companies, I again have only companies with value ranks below 50. That's really sad. So what I decided to do, I decided to spin the net a little further. And I looked at precious metal companies. And what I find there is actually quite interesting. There are a few companies with really good ranks. The first one, Peñoles in Mexico, really outstanding value, good safety, good combined rank. But I'm a little bit worried because I remember it already happened that I couldn't buy a stock because it was too exotic. So I checked my broker first and I verify if I can buy Peñoles. And indeed, it's not possible. So I look at the stock exchanges of these companies and it turns out that Polymetal and Fresnillo are at the London Stock Exchange. This means I can buy these two companies and I decided to look at them closer. When I compare the ranks of Polymetal and Fresnillo, I quickly see they both have good value ranks, but the Russian company has a lot less safety. And that's worrying me. It's Russia and low in safety. I'm more comfortable with Mexico and a higher safety rank. So I decided to look into more detail for the Fresnello stock. I already like what I see on the Fresnello homepage. They want to consolidate their growth and invest in the future. And they also have a really easy website. It says, you know, right there, what we do. And I click on that button and I immediately see what they're doing. They say, we produce gold and silver from six locations across Mexico. We develop high potential projects into low cost, world class mines. That's my stock. It's gold and silver and low cost with good overmod ranks. I do now what I typically do. I look at the people, I look at the news and the analyst recommendations. When I looked at the people, I realized that Fresillo is actually owned by Peñoles. 75% belongs to Peñoles. So I'm almost getting what I wanted to buy anyway. The chairman of Fresnillo is the owner of Peñoles and a very respected business person in Mexico. His CEO has been in the industry forever. He even has managed mines himself. They're both engaged in industry associations and in politics. These are respected people in an, in an advanced country like Mexico. Mexico is in the top third in the ease of doing business index which means you can do business there quite easily compared to other countries. And it also is a democracy. That means things work quite well there. I trust the people side. I look at the news and there I find the reason why the stock is so cheap right now. There is currently a law in the pipeline that will give more rights to indigenous people to prevent new mines. So that's a reason why the stock dropped in price but that's also a known reason, so nothing to worry about. I look at what analysts have to say. And 14 out of 15 analysts have either a buy or hold recommendation, and only one wants to sell the stock. So that's reassuring again. There are so many favorable things to say for Fresnillos. Fresnillo, for me, the thing is clear. I'll buy the stock. This is my decision. I wish you a lot of success with your decision.